So we're working on some bud vases, and Liz is taking the first gather out of the furnace. That's clear glass that we start with. So I was already working on one, and I'm kind of near the finishing stage of it, and I'm starting to open up the top of it. So she's got her clear glass that she's adding the color onto. melted in the color and now she's bringing it over to the table and rolling it out and twisting up the color as well. Now she's shaping it and starting to blow it out. She put some air pressure in the pipe and is waiting for the bubble to expand. Focus on Dad. I'm working on opening up the mouth of that vase, just stretching it a little bit with the jacks. This color gets a silver metallic surface to it when we reduce it in the glory hole. So I've turned up the gas and it reacts with this color. So at this point I can remove it from the pipe. It's about a thousand degrees so it's holding its shape and I was able to separate it nice and clean off the bottom of the uh, of the pipe off the bottom of the foot. That's going to go in an annealing oven, which is heated to 900 degrees. That's where it cools off slowly. So Liz has the next one. She's going to be blowing it into this mold, which will give it a surface texture. I'm putting the uh, blow hose on there. That allows me to shape it and blow it out at the same time. I'm starting to use the jacks to make a neckline and I'll be stretching that as well to form a long neck. And all the while I'm blowing air into it to blow that bubble out thinner. The smoke you see is beeswax that's burning off of the metal jacks. As it heats up, the uh, beeswax burns off, but it's actually preventing the jacks from sticking to the glass. So Liz gathered some clear glass. We're adding that on for a foot. To start shaping the foot and I'm going to use the jacks on one side and Liz will use the wooden paddle on the bottom of it and between those two surfaces we can create a nice shaped foot. What we're going to do is transfer it onto this other pipe that Liz brought over. It's called a punty. I've attached it to the bottom and centered it, and now we're going to break it off of the blowpipe. So I 
I've reheated just the top of the neck and I'm starting to open it up a little bit. So use the jacks to stretch the glass from the inside. Just putting the finishing touches on it and that's pretty much done. This will also get reduced in the glory hole. Last thing to do is fire polish the bottom, make sure it's not sharp, and put it away in the annealing oven. Do 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 do